welcome friends and uh, today i am going to start a new topic that is quantum mechanics and uh, very uh, many of you have requested for this topic and this is the most important part of the physical chemistry and also scoring part so i think i should start it uh, i will discuss the quantum mechanics at one by one postulates of the quantum mecha uh, quantum mechanics that is uh, i will uh, follow the um, sequence of the postulates postulate one postulate two like that but before that i want to discuss about the idea of quantum mechanics how the idea of quantum mechanics comes okay now uh, the quantum mechanics is uh, something very different from your chemistry or classical physics and uh, there is no counterpart of this quantum mechanics in the real world so for understanding the quantum mechanics you have to be very imaginative because uh, understanding of the subject is very difficult you have to think out of the box uh, then only you can understand you have to uh, put yourself in the subatomic world and uh, feel the electrons protons photons like that and then only you can understand the concept now uh, so how can i start the concept of quantum mechanics so uh in the 19th uh, 19th century uh beginning of the 19th century and the middle of the 19th century the uh, this is the birth of the quantum mechanics and the two very famous incident which uh is uh taken as the beginning of the quantum mechanics is that the ultraviolet catastrophe and the famous double slit experiment so generally uh from your childhood you are taught that electron is a particle when you break an atom you get the tiniest part of the atom as electron and this is a particle this is the idea which is uh, be, uh, growing uh, in your mind that electron is a particle and light is a wave but what is interesting is that both electron and light they can show particle as well as wave like property and uh, so electron is a uh, particle that can be proved in a very simple way that when you uh, fire a electron gun on a cathode that cathode will repel the electron so this can prove uh, electron is a particle and there are many other methods for proving electron is a particle and light is a wave that can be proved by saying that it give the interference pattern and many other things this is very simple but how can you prove that light is a particle and electron can also show wave like property so that electron can also show wave like property is comes from the double slit experiment so what is double slit experiment let us take that you have a wall here let's say this is your wall and uh, at the back of the wall you have a detector and you have two slits here so when you uh, when you put light from the slits what you will see so uh, in this case you have to use monochromatic light that is you cannot use white light because it is composed of all the component of light you have to use a monochromatic light light uh, like red light or that is the any of the seven uh, part seven component of the rainbow so when you put that light from the slits what you will get you will get a interference pattern you will get a pattern like this so this pattern uh, is uh, so there is repeatedly one is a bright point one is a dark point one is a bright bright point another dark point so this is a pattern and how this forms uh, this is actually when you put the light monochromatic light uh, throughout through this slit this light will split into two waves like this you can see they split into two waves like this and you can see in some places this wave can interact this is so when they interact like this this is called destructive destructive interference and you can see when uh, uh, and uh, there will be some point when uh, two of the lights can interact constructively okay so this is called constructive constructive interference so constructive interference will increase the intensity of the light whereas destructive interference will result zero in uh, zero intensity and that's why in some cases where the light interact constructively you will get a bright point and where uh, they in, uh, interact destructively you will get the black points 
so this is a very well known feature of the light and it is called young's double slit experiment now uh, uh, in in the mind of scientists uh, there comes a crazy idea that if we uh, do the experiment with electrons what will happen so first of all you can do this experiment with a uh, cricket ball also you have to uh, paint the cricket ball that is uh, by some uh, color you have to uh, first color the cricket ball that uh, so that when you throw the ball on a white background uh, there will be spotted in a color manner so then you can have a wall where you have two slits and you can throw repeatedly the cricket balls what you will see is that so you will just see that uh, behind these two slits you will have two lines so you have colored these balls and you will have two lines like this and if electron is a particle you will uh, expect the same thing that when you throw a electron throughout uh, a wall you will get the same type of two lines so first what they they de did is they closed one of the slit and uh, uh, throw the electron through only one slit and what they uh, got is only one single line so behind this slit they will get they got a single line but when uh, they pass a light wave throughout this they will get a spread out thing because light is a wave okay now what they did they opened another slit also and they expect that when they will pass a electron through this double slit they will get two lines just like the uh, phenomenon when you have thrown the cricket balls but what they got is very remarkable they got uh, interference pattern and that is same like what they have got for light so this is very remarkable electron which is a particle uh, is giving the same interference pattern as given by the light wave now uh, you may think that when you are throwing a bunch of electron throughout as throughout two slits some of some part of the electrons can go through one slit and some pass through a, another slit and they will interact constructively and destructively and that will give rise to this interference pattern so for that they devise the experiment such a way that only one electron they will throw at a time that means uh, it can be designed that only one electron will go at a time so uh, if electron is a particle then uh, the electron if you throw only one electron either it will go through this uh, slit or it will go through this slit so you expect that two lines you will get uh, behind this uh, double slits but what they have got is the same interference pattern so when they uh, throw only one electron at a time then also they got the same interference pattern now this is very much much curious that is you are throwing only one electron and if it is a particle it should go either uh, through this wall uh, this slit or through this but how can we uh, they both pass through the uh, two slits that is uh, it, uh, it is showing that the electron is uh, at a time it is passing through this slit and also this slit so scientists are very clever and what they did they wanted to see that whether the electron is passing through this or this so that's why they put a detector on any one of the slit detector so that will tell that the, uh, the electron which you are throwing either it is passing through this slit or not so when, when they put this detector they again got only two lines behind the two uh, slits that is uh, the detector will tell that uh, 50% of the time the electron is passing through this slit and 50% of the time it is, it is going through another slit but in this case they got only two lines not the interference pattern but, but whenever they remove the detector from the experimental uh, condition they got the same interference pattern now it is like the electrons somehow know that uh, people are trying to uh, see where I am and they are hiding themselves that is uh, they know about the intention of the human world and according uh, and, and according to that they are hiding themselves so this is very crazy that means you cannot detect the electron with your with your any detector 
this is the mysterious part of the quantum mechanics and if you explain this phenomenon you can get a nobel prize okay so till now it is unsolved and there are many things uh, on the quantum mechanics which are unsolved i will uh, tell you one by one them so this experiment what is the importance of this experiment is that you cannot detect a electron precisely so later i will tell this is the origin of the heisenberg's uncertainty principle that is you cannot measure the momentum and the position of any subatomic particle at the same time so uh, the conclusion of this experiment is that electron can act as a wave okay so now we have to prove that particle can also act as so uh, we proved that electron has both particle and wave like property now it is turned for us that we have to prove light uh, can show particle like property so for that we have to uh, discuss about the ultraviolet catastrophe so what is ultraviolet catastrophe so ultraviolet catastrophe is that whenever you re, uh, hit a black body black body means which uh, absorb all the energy which you uh, which you put on it and also it emits all the energy from it this is called black body and it is a perfect emitter and perfect acceptor so uh, it is uh, found that when you uh, heat a uh, black body according to the temperature of your heating it uh, radiates different type of energy and when you re, uh, re, uh, heat it at very low temperature it will radiate in the ultraviolet region and it will not be visible but when you increase the temperature of heating generally it will uh, radiate uh, energy of more uh, light of more energy and according to that you will get the spectrum of the uh, vgr that is you will get uh, red then orange and finally we will get blue blue ultraviolet like that so when you heat a black body at very high temperature you will get a bluish white energy and uh, for uh, from this uh, phenomenon you can also explain the uh, color of the sun and other stars also this is another concept but what is uh, interesting is that when you put uh, when you plot that things in a graph that is let's say it is your intensity and it is your uh, uh, wavelength of the radiation so lambda so you will get uh, curves like this this and this and uh, these curves uh, first rayle and jeans they attempted to solve this curve and they considered that uh, the black body is composed of simple harmonic oscillators which oscillates to uh keep the energy and they applied the principle of equipartition principle they applied the equipartition principle and consider it as classical mechanics so from that they uh, take the energy as half kt and they consider that uh, that this simple harmonic oscillator can po pose any any amount of energy and that uh, can explain the nature of this curve at low frequency or high uh, wavelength region like this but when you increase the temperature according to their theory this curve will go like this infinite so it will not uh, passing through a maxima it will go infinite and that is against the uh, rule of physics against the rule of nature it is against the uh, conservation of energy right so that was actually wrong so this is the ultraviolet region and at this ultraviolet region the rayleigh jeans theory failed to predict the situation of the black body radiation so this is this is why it is called the ultraviolet catastrophe catastrophe means disaster that is at the ultraviolet region this theory fails so this is called ultraviolet catastrophe now later uh, max planck another famous scientist he said that no this uh, simple harmonic oscillator which you are considering they cannot pose any type of energy they can pose only a certain amount of energy and he said that this particle light particle is composed of a packet of energy and he called it quanta or photon so this is a packet of energy so this is how the concept of quantization comes but this is not a so he only just want to uh, fit the data uh, to explain the curve he uh, uh, took a help of mathematics this is just a mathematical trick he doesn't have any idea of quantum mechanics 
he just said that uh, this uh, 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 harmonic oscillators cannot have any amount of energy they can have uh, certain allowed uh, energy levels and that will be uh, integer multiple integer of h nu so let's say uh, when you are getting blue light so blue light can have a uh, they can have energy which is which is multiple of 1 h nu or 3 h nu or 5 h nu they cannot have energy of 4 h nu or 2 h nu this is not allowed so certain values are allowed this is arbitrary example it can be other also but uh, I want to say is that uh, certain values of energy are allowed and certain are not. That is, this is the concept of quantization. You are limiting to a certain value, and this is how he was able to solve this curve and uh, applying this theory, he was uh, successful to explain this curve. Now, uh, later Einstein extend this idea and also able to um, predict uh, or explain the phenomenon of. Uh, photoelectric effect for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize. So these two things are the birth of the quantum mechanics and then uh, another very famous scientist Werner Heisenberg uh, whom you all know he introduced that any system uh, you can represent by a wave and that wave is represented by psi. So any system you can represent by a wave and you can represent that wave by this psi this is called wave function so you can construct a wave function for any system so this psi is the main uh, part of the quantum mechanics and so uh, I, I, I want to finish this video here in the next video I will uh, tell the properties of psi what is mean by wave function what are the properties of wave function and that is actually the first postulate of the quantum mechanics that you can uh, exp uh, you can construct a wave function for any physical uh, any system okay so this is the first postulate of quantum mechanics and I will uh, discuss uh, details of this first postulate in the next video for that you have to subscribe my channel and if you uh, like this video then give thumbs up and thank you for watching